All right, everyone, welcome on in. My name is Coach Christian, today bringing you a Coach Care Connect video. We got some really good stuff today. We're gonna get warmed up just like always. We're gonna go through some longer sets today. So we're gonna really focus on a kettlebell modified snatch. I'll show you how to do that here in a couple minutes um, after we get warmed up. And then we're gonna have a nice long set that, that we are gonna use some sliders. So make sure you have those um, easy, easily accessible today. Other than that, that kettlebell that you're using for the snatches should work for our last little super set as well, where we go through some, uh, some rows and some squats. So, Two sets, we're gonna do eight rounds of those two sets, um, and then finish up with the super set, which is five rounds of a 30-30 format. So, as we get into it here, wanna warm up, I'm gonna really focus on the modified snatch today. That's gonna to be one of our main skill acquisitions today. So we're gonna teach you it, we're gonna coach you on it, and we're gonna to connect together as we master that skill. So, let's get uh, warmed up here with a rest, flex, and extend. So this one, starting on the hands and knees, bring the hips forward. Here you come all the way up, nice proud chest, arch to the back, and then push the hips back into our flex position here, our rest position, excuse me. So then come up again, we're gonna knock up five of these, just take it nice and slow, feel the stretch. Good, good. Now if you have dumbbells today for the snatch and for some of our lower body exercises at the end, that will also work. Again, we can make any weights that you got today. If you got some different uh, size weights though, that might help us out towards the end. Good, so finish up your five reps there. Then I'm gonna start showing you the next one. We're gonna go into a thoracic spine stretch. So stay on the hands and knees for this one. We're gonna take one hand, reach through, and then coming all the way up to the top. We got five on each side here. Follow the hand with your eyes. Five on one side, and then get your five on the other. Yeah, nice and slow, feel the stretch, taking your time, getting your body ready and primed for today. Good, after you get your five, switch it up. So let me tell you a little bit more about our first uh, couple sets here. So we're gonna have eight sets in a row of a kettlebell modified snatch. I'll show you what that is in one second. But what it's gonna be, you're gonna work for 10 seconds on one side, you're gonna have a 15 second break to switch over to the other side, and then set number two will go right after that 15 seconds. So the eight sets are gonna go really fast, 10 seconds of work, uh, 15 seconds of rest. After you knock out your five on both sides there, we're gonna go into a quad Superman tuck, so you can stay on the hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're gonna bring your knee and your elbow in, and then we're extending. We're gonna go five on each side here as well. So knee, to the elbow, extend straight line from my heel all the way to my extended hand. You wanna really squeeze the core on this one, tighten, uh, pressure in the core as you squeeze. The goal of these Superman tucks should be to make them feel hard, even though they're a pretty simple and basic movement. Not easy, not the right word to describe them, but you wanna make it feel hard. And after you hit your five, go right into the other side. Again, activating the core, squeezing, and work. Hold for a quick second as you come out, and then elbow into the knee. Good, good. After you hit your five on each side, you're still knocking them out here. We are gonna come up to our feet next. We got a little squat that we're gonna do. We have a kettlebell goblet squat in our last set today, so we know that that's coming. This one will get us primed and ready to go for that. So, on your feet here, we're gonna go hands behind the head squat. So hands come right uh, on the back of the head or the ears. Either way is fine. Your goal is to keep the chest as proud as you can as you squat into the heels. So 10 of them on your own, here we go. Again, don't let the chest fall forward. As you come down, proud chest, bring the shoulders back, elbows, drive them back, and sit down into your squat. Sit back into the heels. And get that full range of motion. You wanna to try to get those hips in line with the bottom of the knee down there. So knock out your 10. And as you're doing that, I'm gonna start getting you ready for your kettlebell modified snatch today. So, let's start talking about this one. Modified snatch. You might know a regular snatch from a dead stop position where you hinge and you take that kettlebell up overhead. We're gonna do it just a little bit different today. So a modified snatch is kind of like a swing and a snatch combined. So you start from the bottom, we swing out, get a little bit of momentum, and then straight up to the top. So you come right back down into your swing, and back up. So from that top position, kettlebell comes out, swing, and up to the top. Now, on that swing, you wanna focus on the low back. As you come down, the low back is nice and flat, we don't round it, so the chest stays tall, and then swing and press up. Straight up over the head here, you can see the kettlebell is right in line with my body there. So, 
10 seconds on, you probably hit about three, four reps on one side. You'll have 15 seconds to breathe, and then we'll go to the other side. We have eight of these right in a row, guys. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our sliders and a little pipe push up. So let's get into it right away. If you want, do a couple reps on both sides. Make sure you're nice and warm for these. Make sure that you have that proper form so you're staying healthy and we're not hurting anyone today. So again, swing right up to the top. Reset, swing, and up to the top. All right, team, let's get right into this one. Eight sets right in a row. We're gonna start in 10 seconds here. So grab that kettlebell, feet under the hips. Again, start with that swing, and then all the way up to the top. Three, two, one, let's go. Right back down, and up. Good, in three, two, one, and there it is. Resting for 15 seconds already. So it goes quick, we got to switch sides, it's one set. So I think I got four reps in there. You know what's coming, here we go. Five seconds, and we are back to it with the other side. Two, one, let's go. Good, right up, hinge, and come forward. You wanna focus on that explosive movement with the hips. Get from here into that hip extension. Two, one, and rest. Good, two down. You got to feel it out a little bit on both sides. 10 seconds till we go again. We're back to our right side, or wherever you started. So, let's do it again. 10 seconds of work, get a couple reps. Two, one, here we go. Good, straight up. So you can see it in the side. Low back stays tight, and then we're right up to the top. Good, one more, two, one, rest. Three down, here we go. Take a couple deep breaths, grab water if you need it, whatever you got, we're gonna go right back into it. Five seconds, moving quick here team, let's go. Three, two, one, 10 seconds of work. Good, really lock that arm out at the top, the elbow's locked out, you're tight, two, one, and rest. Good, we're already halfway done with our snatches today, team. That is four sets already, they're going quick. We're gonna go right into set number five. If you need to adjust your weight up or down, you can always do that as well. Three seconds. Here we go, in two, one, let's go. Good, all the way up, you celebrate that rep by driving it up at the top. Here we go, one more good rep, two, one, rest, good. Now we're back to our other side here. Remember, as you come down, hinge, 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 Core stays tight, low back is flat, hips come forward, engage the glutes. That's where we're getting that momentum. Here we go, in two, one, round six, let's go. Now you might not be quite as good at, um, at this movement with the non-dominant hat, non-dominant hand, excuse me, and rest. But that's okay, we gotta do things on both sides to kind of even you out a little bit. That's why we do single-sided exercises. Get a little bit different work here, five seconds. We got a couple more. Here we go. Let's work in two, one. Let's go. Get just that little swing straight up to the top. Stabilize at the top. Make sure that shoulder stays right up by the ear, bicep by the ear, and rest. Oh, man. Here we go. I believe this is our last set already. So let's make it your best here. We got five seconds. Down to eight. It's tough. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. This is the last set. 10 seconds of work. For me, it's my non-dominant side, but let's see what you got here. Go after it, your best rep right here. Two, one, and done. All right. Now, we got about 90 seconds here to get ready for the next move. Grab your sliders, or if you have some wood floor, anything like that, that you can slide on some socks. That works great as well. So, our next movement is gonna be the same exact format as, um, as our work in that last round. But what we're gonna do, it's gonna be 10 seconds on, 15 seconds off with some slider pike push-ups. So, feet go on the sliders for these ones. Now for the push-up, you can bring it down to the knees if you want, but I'm gonna show you the regular version first, and then I'll show us how to modify it. So, one rep would be down, all the way down, all the way up, slide the hips up, legs stay long, right back into your starting position. Now, these take a little bit longer. It's probably gonna take you a few seconds to get one done, maybe two, three reps in the 10 seconds, and then you have 15 seconds to rest. So, I'm gonna get the timer going, and we are about started here, team. Let's do it, let's do it. 10 seconds, and we are going after it here. All right, team, feet on the sliders, 
push up into our pike. Let's go. Two, one. Again, let's go. So again, if you need to drop down to those knees, it's the same thing, but then come up to those toes for your pike and back down. Then right back down to the knees. Two, one, and rest. So you might only get two reps done in the 10 seconds here. That is okay, but I want you to keep going with that same amount of reps throughout all eight rounds. We got one down, seven to go, three seconds, feet go on the sliders, and let's get back to work. Two, one, let's do it. So again, focus on that push up, press the ground away. All that weight right in the palms comes down, elbows stay in tight, press, and then lift those hips up. You got five seconds, let's finish up that rep. Three, two, one, rest. There we go, there we go. All right, so we got two done, two done. Let's keep working here. Two, one, right back into it, round three. A little push up, hips are tall, using that core to lift the hips. Three, two, one, and rest. Three down, three down, we're about to that halfway point. Again, if the push up starts to get a little bit more challenging, bring it down to the knees for those, but come back up to the toes as you lift those hips high. So, two seconds, let's go back at it. Two, one, let's go. Good. Nice and tall with the hips, control your sliders. If you're using the socks on wood, that works really good as well, but control your body. Don't let those hips fall too fast. Rest, you wanna keep that core nice and tight. Now we are halfway done with it. Four down, we got four to go. Before we get into our last super set of the day, already. Three, two, one, let's do it. Nice and tall hips, right down into that push up. Here we go. Make it one fluid motion. As your hips come down, you're right down into that push up. Rest. All right, five done. Five done, we got three to go. As the push ups start to get a little bit more challenging, this dude, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So really go after them. Make those your emphasis in these next couple rounds. Two, one, back at it. Here we go. Good. Get some really good reps here. Get that last one. Two, one, rest. Good, good. Only got two more rounds up. Two more. Let's go after a team. Again, if you gotta bring it down to the knees, if you start it up on the toes, let's try to bring it back up to the toes this round. See what you got. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Good, good, good. Get about two reps. You can do it. Three, two, one, and rest. We got one more 10 second slider pipe push ups. Let's see what you got. Make it your best round. Good. Try to stay up on the toes if you can. If you gotta drop it down to the knees, you're still gonna get some amazing work here. Two, one, last round, best round. Good. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Three, two, one, done. There it is, team. Good work. Now, we're gonna move on to our super set here. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be two different movements. Grab some water here as we recover, but we're gonna be 30, 30 with our format now. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and that's how we're gonna go through the rest of the workout. Two exercises. First one, I'm gonna use kettlebell, you can use dumbbell, whatever you got. It's gonna be a two point row. So we are in our split stance position. You can have a little bit of weight on the front uh, leg if you want. I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna use my core, and I'm pulling up to the bottom of the rib cage, almost the back of my hip here, and right back down. We're gonna do 10 seconds on, or excuse me, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. We're gonna do that twice, and then we have five rounds of it, so the last round we will switch halfway, just to even it up. Our second exercise, the goblet squat. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can go bottoms up with the kettlebell, keeping the chest nice and tall. If you don't wanna do that, just keep it tight to the chest, and focus on a nice, proud chest throughout. So, all right guys, we're gonna go into that last superset of the day here. So again, the two point row, the goblet squat, we're gonna go back to back, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Here we go. We're gonna start in 10, I'm gonna start my timer. And let's do this. Grab that weight for your first row. Again, all of it is gonna be on the same side here. So split stance, grab your kettlebell. Let's go, two, one, 30 seconds here. Now I'm gonna control that weight throughout the entire range of motion here, keeping my elbow, as you can see, in tight to my side, bottom of the hip, bottom of the rib cage, and back down. Control on the way down, that's just as important as the way up. Here we go, team, you got 10 seconds to grind here. Again, my core is tight, my shoulders don't turn as I row, so I keep it tight, keep it square, right there. Three, 
two, one. There it is, good. 30 seconds to rest before we go into our goblet squat. So again, tight to the chest. Got 30 seconds of them here. Five rounds of this uh, little superset to finish this off today. We're into it, we're into it. Got 15 seconds to rest. Grab that water if you need. All right, team. Let's go back into it. Five seconds, grab your weight. Weight stays in the heels, chest stays up. Let's go. Two, one, 30 seconds. So all the way down now. The chest stays tall, you get to the bottom, and then drive yourself up through those heels. Now, you want the knees not coming too far out, not coming too far in. You got them right over the toes, they're in line. Boom, right back up to the top. Halfway through this round, team, keep on working. So that weight, it's gonna wanna pull your chest down as you squat, but don't let it. Chest stays proud, weight sits back into the heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes at the bottom. Two, one, rest. One down, four to go. So, use that full rest here. You got time, you got about 20 seconds left. We're gonna go back into the two point row, but we are gonna go to the other side now. So 30 seconds, for me it's the left side. Probably your non dominant side this time. That's perfect. Focus on the range of motion, drive the elbow back. Here we go, let's split the stance. You got five seconds. You can split, chest stays tight, core stays tight, let's go. 30 seconds of work. So that two point, here's point one, here's point two, and write that down, a little two point row. Good, good, good. So as you pull, keep the shoulder back and that elbow in tight again. So you don't want that elbow flaring out. We'll do different wide rows throughout our different programming that we do today, but today, elbow stays in tight. You got six seconds to finish. Let's see those best last two reps. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds done. Give those legs a quick rest. Uh, and the arms in the back. But gala squats are coming up next, team. 30 seconds of them. Now, we're not gonna be challenged quite yet. I want you to go through this 30 seconds. But next round, we're gonna start to add in some different things that you can challenge yourself with in the goblet squat, different ways that you can get the most out of today's workout based on your fitness level. Five seconds, and we're going into the goblet squat. Here we go, two, one, let's go, team. Gonna drive these out at the bottom, keep the chest tall, the core is tight. Squatting, one of the best core exercises if we do it right. So keep that core tight and drive through the heels. Knees come right over the toes again. Your chest is tall. Don't let it start to sag as we get tired. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the low back, especially um, if you're someone that struggles with some low back pain, you really gotta focus on pushing the hips back as you start that squat. Three, two, one, rest. Two down, and we got three to go. So, two point rows, goblin squats, still going after it. Now, round three. Right back into it. We're gonna go back to our original side for the two point row. We're gonna split that stance again. Now, kind of like I've been talking, don't let those shoulders move. So as you row up, your shoulders wanna rotate just a little bit, but you gotta use that core strength to keep your chest nice and stable. Three, two, and one. Let's go. So the only thing that moves is that arm. Everything else is in that nice, solid position. Everything feels tight. You feel stable in that position. Your feet are almost in line. You shouldn't be able to wiggle around too much, but you are building up some strength today. Really good job, team. You got 10 seconds, just like last round. That elbow stays in tight, stays in tight. Come on. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Goblet squats coming up. You got 30 seconds to rest, just like after each exercise in the super set. But for the goblet squats, if you want a little bit extra this round, we're gonna do one double contraction rest, let's call it. So, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. That's one rep right there. So, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. That's our double contraction this round. 30 seconds of it, three, two, and one. Let's go. Just a little half squat in between there. That's gonna turn on those legs. It's gonna burn a little bit this round, but burn in the best ways. Burning in the ways to get you closer to where you wanna be today. Good, good, good. Halfway through the round, keep on trucking here, team. After this, you only got a minute of squats left. Knock it out, seven seconds. Let's see what you got in that tank. Your best rep in the round, three, 
two, one, rest. Good team, two more. Two point rows, goblet squats. That's all we got left. Two more rounds of it. It's gonna take about two minutes. We'll get you out of here after a nice little recovery today. We got three stretches that'll help you not be quite as sore after a workout like this. So, two point row, this is gonna be the last time we don't switch sides. So round four, back to our non-dominant side. Uh, let's go after it here. Five seconds. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's work. Full 30 seconds on one side to really maximize your time with me today. Going after those goals, working hard, lifting those heavy weights maybe. Now start thinking about next round. In that last round, when we go 15 seconds on each side, can you go heavier with your kettlebell, with your dumbbell, whatever you're using? That's gonna be the goal for our last round. Same goes with the goblet squat. Last round, best round, we take that weight up if we can. Here we go, four, three, two, and one, rest. Good work, good work. So goblet squats. We can go back, if you wanna start uh, up in the weight now, I would probably go back to the regular squats. If you wanna do those double contractions again, that would be great as well. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go double contractions this round, and then I'm gonna take my weight up for next round. So here we go, 13 seconds. Goblet squats. Let's finish them out here, team. Grabbing your weight, setting yourself up in that position. Here we go, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Good, make sure you got that feet, those feet set up, a shoulder height, whatever's comfortable for you to squat in, keeping that chest tall. Start the movement by sitting the hips back all the way down, halfway up, and boom, you're there halfway now, 15 seconds. Good, be fast on these ones. You got this now, seven seconds. Give me two more really good reps here. Three, two, one, done. Done with it, last round your best round. So, if you got that heavier kettlebell, let's grab it here. Dumbbell, whatever you're using. Either way it works. But two exercises, 30 seconds a piece, two point rows, goblet squats, that's it. Now, I'll let you know when that halfway point comes, gotta switch fast. So, we're hitting those rows, we're hitting them. You switch quick, boom, right to that other side. Maximize your round, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last round, let's get it. Good. controlling throughout that full range of motion. Elbow in tight, control down, take a couple seconds. You got five left before we switch. Three, two, one, and switch. Hit these last rows of the day. Last ones, making them your best. Elbow stays in tight, we're rowing, we're going slow down. Five, four, you got one more in that tank for me. Two, one, done with it. Throw that kettlebell off to the side. Grab a foam roller. We're not gonna need it for the first stretch. All right, excuse me, the second stretch, but we are gonna use it today. So, drop it on the ground. Really good job today. Make sure you don't have anything in the way. We're gonna start out with some thoracic spine extension. So, we're gonna lay on that foam roller. It's gonna be right about in the middle of the back. Arms are gonna be in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna extend, reach, hold, and bring it back, hit it. So, just little spine extensions here as we go back, squeeze. As you come back in, core stays nice and tight. So, here we go. Hit a few reps. Good, good, good. We got 10 more seconds here. And there we go. Hit one more rep. And then we're gonna go into the rocker couch stretch. So, probably done this one before. I like to put my hands on my hips. One knee in the ground, drive your hips forward as far as you can go. Hips forward, glute is nice and forward, chest is tall, and come back. Good, good, good. Get about five, six reps here, and then we'll switch it up. Good, then one more quick little stretch, then we're gonna do the posterior stretch. Gonna open up the chest a little bit. Now with all those snatches today, hip extension, really, really good. Stretch you do after snatches, cleans, um, vertical jumps, anything where you're getting into hip extension. But we're gonna go into our last stretch today. So for this one, you're gonna lay right on that foam roller, right down the middle of your spine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our chest, 
let the head fall back and just relax and focus on the opening of the chest and the rib cage. Take a couple deep breaths here. You can rock a little side to side if you need. Focus on the chest, drive the arms down. You can go up overhead a little bit. Find what positions work for you. Good, good, good. And then when you are done with that team, that is gonna be what we have for you today. Feel free to go through those uh, recovery stretches one more time if you have a little bit of time. If not, again, my name is Coach Trishan. Thank you for coming in today and working really hard and getting the most out of about our 30 minutes. So thank you again and we will see you next time.